Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Now I got up and I was going to have just a walk through your desk. I'm over here now. We can't move on. I was telling someone um, during the course of the week. I said, you know, we can't believe that Annie now is a widow. Now, never. We need to make a change. I'm going to go pray for it. Take out his room. I'm going to pray for it. In the end, when Kashiya Suwa Anna, the one who can't pray for it. And these are difficult things. Maybe a thing too, if you are sure. I pray that God will give you the courage. Then people pray that they say, "I'm going to serve the Lord." God are the days when widows were elderly women. In the aga, he had to put a yakale. He yo abale he tuanga wamkam fuiru abali avantu abakote. But death is no respecter of individuals. In fact, I am quite sure that the community will once. Today you are on the side of the couples. The other day you are lining up as a widow. In the law, we will not be able to have a future. My law, we will not be able to have a future. And those moments in the church when they announce all couples come this way, widows, please go under that tree there. Those are very difficult moments. Jacob, my friend. Jacob, you have heard of orphans. You have also participated in taking pathfinders to orphanages. And now today, oh, a day has come. Very difficult day. That your status must shift. We are not going to add another definition to you as an orphan, a child without a father. In your these are difficult things. These are difficult things. Shall we pray together? Our God and our Father. Difficult as it is now. Please wrestle with us as we read your word. Give us mercy and give us hope. Because we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. John 11 and verse 37. You are the eleven. You are the one who is going to be the seven. John eleven verse thirty-seven. You are the eleven who is going to be the seven. And some of them said, "Vamo baya go bati le." Could not this man, who is not going to, which opened the eyes of the blind, who is going to be the eleven to be the four, have caused that even this man? Should not have that. Kuti ewa le ne kwa ni moyo mtu na o ewa. May God bless the reading of His word. Bless the apale ukwenga kushiria kwe. Amen. Amen. The question, brothers and sisters. Iti kuto vamuni na ne nkashi. The why question. Iti kuto jakwe wa muna tunsi. The why question. Which I also don't have an answer. Please, in the future, when there is a question that is directed to God, don't answer the question on behalf of God. 
Ukwia kunja ishinga Kakuni ji kuto tayi kushiwa Kicha ikushiwa kulileza The question kwa suke ji kushiwa kwa suke la kuleza The questions that are directed at God Let God answer Ipi ikushiwa Ipi ikushiwa kulileza mwine Leke njileza mwine Eo asuke If you are not very sure about what you want to say On behalf of God Please sit down Let God
comprehend a God who rejoices. When we are dead, why? Why this God? What kind of a God is this one? Why are we happy in him around? Could you not see this God? We will die. 
pouvoir. Not because we are evil. But because just is in the land. We will die. Because we are evil. But death is in the land. Romans chapter 5 and verse 12. Wherefore as by one man sin entered into the world and death by sin and so death passed upon all men so that all have sinned Seen, my brothers and sisters, brought death. We will die. We will go. And let us put ourselves in the context. That death will come. Death will come. Whether we like it or not, death will come. We need to tell our minds as soon as we are gone. We need to know that the next destination if Jesus does not come down is death it's the grave it is the grave but we who are believers even if we are believers we also ask the same question why God why God we even make God look cruel there are some things that we say that make God very evil there are some things that we say where we implicate God. But I want to say that to you. Because we have said that before. Don't worry. Don't worry. Even if we are born here. Brother Sinkala has gone to be with the Lord. Let's not mourn like unbelievers. We all shall us as we that him is we are mourning right now. He has gone to be with the Lord. But your brothers and sisters, that God, that God, that God, if ever he exists, that God, that God, the one we say he has taken him. He is going to be with the Lord. That God. That God. Me, I don't want that God. I don't want that God. That God that takes away my family. I don't want that God. He makes God look very evil. He has going to be with the Lord. So what are you saying about God? That God has taken the Father. And then the Father is having a nice time with God. And then, then they are enjoying. And then the orphans, the children on earth are crying. That, that Jacob here is giving a tribute that the father is happy God.
when we go to heaven, when we go to heaven, you will be comforted because your father is in heaven. Issues of death. We are not addressing heaven. Heaven we know. When Jesus will come, I know the day you rise again. That one I know. Please keep that verse first waiting. When the trumpet will sound, I know the day you rise. That I know. The question is. Why do we wait for that trumpet? What happens to the window? Not this man. While Jesus is coming, and he remains a widow. The other women remain married. The other children remain with their parents. Who do not this God? Who do not this God? In heaven, we don't need mothers and fathers. In heaven, it will be better there. Where we need our fathers and mothers is now. Because we need food. We need to go to school. We need to pay rent. We need to survive. In heaven. In any case, the Bible says, when Jesus will come, these bodies will be changed. We will be changed. When we get to heaven, what will comfort us? is not the praises of the loved ones. Who is the praises of God? Listen to When the Bible says, there is no guarantee that those that are going to rise part of your identity will be there. We don't know. Rising the rise. But if we are promising each other, don't worry. We will be better in heaven. We don't know. Whether you will be there. So if you want to be there, who will come since you told me it will be better in heaven. I have brothers and sisters. Let God answer. Why these things happen the way they happen. Let's conclude in this matter. Revelation 21. And verse 4. And God. And God shall wipe away all their tears from the eyes. And God will wipe away their tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more destiny. May the sorrow of pride.
the Lord God will wipe away tears from all their faces. So God is going to take away that which causes tears. He will take it away between now and the time. We need to continue comforting each other. In the promise that time is coming, that God will wipe away their tears. He will bring it to the conclusion. And so today, my brothers and sisters, God is in control. We save a powerful God. We save a loving God. We save a loving Jesus. So let Jesus speak for himself. We die. Not because we have error, but because death is in the land. Death is in the land. For those that are believers, death is but a sleep. It is just a sleep. Because a day is coming. When those that sleep in the Lord, In John chapter 14, verse 1 to 3, let not your heart be troubled. I want to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again. In my Father's kingdom, I will make my choice. If we are so, I would have told you. Jesus is coming again. He says, I have gone to prepare a place for you. And I will come again. So that where I am, you also may be here. If at a time when we die, we go to stay with Jesus in heaven. There will be no need for Jesus to come again. He is coming again. Because we will still be here. We will still be here. What day? A trumpet to sound. The day is in Christ. Like right on. And many others that have gone before him. They will rise again. Brothers and sisters. Members of the family. The widow and the children. Is reborn. This is on the end. There is a time in future. When the trumpet will sound. Right on among others will rise again. Will you be there to be reunited as a family? Will you be there to be reunited together with him? There are those of you who were his colleagues in the comedian world. Your friend has gone. A believer in Christ. What else do you do beyond comedy? Do you know a man called Jesus? Because if you knew him, one day, one day, you will recognize it again in heaven. Meeting as brothers and sisters. Life is very short. Life is very short. As Brighton was coming back, you know that thing that we do? We've just gone past Calvary. We've just gone past We've just gone past Chiboko. We've just gone past Chiboko. We've just gone past and then all of the 
something he does not understand. He is awesome. Ah, yeah. But they leave him to a new idea. No, 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 Asking for the peace of God. Pastor Chu, please come and pray for us. Let's subscribe and pray for us. Amen. 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 Il va y avoir un certain valeur. Very soon we will not be there. Mukai, tu as pas le droit de te dire. Tu as pas le droit de te dire. Tu dois te dire que la vie ne sera pas la même. Hello, salut, toi, tu vas avoir la vie de tes yeux. Nous mourrons, nous allons te faire des moutiers. Precious, but we. We sit here, we are in this building confessing that our hearts are broken. We cannot pretend, we cannot lift ourselves up as though we have not lost. Precious Father, just allow us to say we are broken and we are shocked. And thank you, Jesus, because you understand us. You are the one who created us and you know how we react and therefore we cannot react like angels because we are human beings. So, Lord, here we are. We mourn, we are weak because we have lost one of our beloved Especially at a time, allow us to say, gracious King, when we never foresaw it, this just came different. So again, please allow us to mourn. Because of this, we ask that you hold our hands. But together, especially, we lift, uplift your children, the Sinkala family. And especially, specifically, the wife, sister, and, and also the children. Lord, none of us can answer the why question. And as has been said, none of us should and ought to want to answer that question. And none of us should be able to say we understand because we don't. And so, Lord, you who understands, you who knew, you who could stop the vapor, you who could prevent this, but you allowed it, we pray that you be the one who answers the why question. We pray, Father, that you be the one who gives them your presence, because we can't. We can't. So we pray that you hold Sister Anne's hand. We pray that you hold the hands of the children whom your servant has left. Lord, Heavenly Father, what can we say? Except to say that while we move on this earth, while we wait for the promises which we know, yes, we know that you will come and the dead will rise and we know that you will come and you will take us home, but there is now gracious Father. Because there is now, we pray that you hold us still. That you hold us in your faith. That you provide that which we need while we live on this earth. And as has been said, there is the widow, there are the children, they need to go to school, they need rent. They need practical things that, Lord, 
we can't live, we can't exist without. We pray that somehow you provide because we need those things. Not only that you provide, but Lord, we pray that you help us to be there for this family. But when all is done, our prayer is that somehow every individual who is here today, somehow by your grace will be found in your heavenly kingdom. Because then, then we know we will understand and we'll have time to sit with you and you will explain to us everything that has happened in this. But until then, we pray that our faith may forever rest in you. We ask and pray thankfully in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We want to thank the Lord on how thus far He has led us. And we also want to thank the Lord of God for such a timely message such as the one He has delivered to the congregation. We are almost coming to the end of our church service. But before we delve into the last episode, which is the body viewing, I'll quickly pass uh, this one announcement with regards to transport. There are five big ZNS buses. That can accommodate all of us. And the buses are parked at the driving school, KK driving school, as we are just entering uh, PHI. So, for all of us who do not have transport, Let's find our way to the ZNS buses. If you don't see the written ZNS, at least be sure they are painted green. Okay, uh, before we begin our body viewing, uh, the order of procession is as follows. The family members, Dokas, and the church choir, will be the last to do the body viewing. So in that fashion, we'll ask uh, the Dokas mothers who are seated by the pathway there to pave way. So that we can uh, almost get ready to begin our body viewing. And once the front gate has been cleared, we will be beginning with our, our congregation that is outside. And I know with regard to music. We are more than equipped to us and choir will be singing for us as we are doing the body viewing. <laughs> Now looking at the front end is small, I think, uh, I know you, I say if you last to us, maybe we could just go out a little bit so that we clear the front end. We could go out, I'm not testing you, we're just going out to come in again. You come and use, you come and use the other door, the other side.
тебе.
Our sisters pray. Uh, we allow the children to come. Cindy, Jacob, the pastor will lead us in a prayer and then we'll all match up. As the children are coming, children, please come. Where's Muche? It's gone? Okay. Come here, Jacob, over here. And all others. <laughs> okay, thank you. Our pastor is praying now. Shall we be together? We are praying. Our God and our Father in heaven. This is a difficult and tense moment for the children and their mother. To see the face of their father for the last time. To say bye to the one who they lived with for the few years you've given to them. Now, Lord, as we prepare to transition to the resting place, we just want to say thank you, Lord for the time and space you gave to Annie and the children to live together with Brighton. At such a time as this one, as we part company one from another, as we shall lower the body down into the grave, these now will remain fatherless, never to hear the voice of their father again, until you shall come the second time. Lord, to you who is the father of the fatherless, difficult as it is, please embrace these children. Bless the widow, keep them strong, 
keep them trusting, keep them in the faith, and keep them in the church. Because we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen.
No, he's here. So you you declined the first after me is the first time the I think it was like we had the signal that you and Bahaya back here. That's where for Bahaya. Yes, yes. Okay. We are we are entering from this one.
and unique combination for the benefit of our profession. We are surely missing and all the memories that I'm sure all of us have been observing them on the various social platforms. That itself tells us quite a huge story. He has been able to groom the young some of them are even holding uh, good positions. We deeply miss him as a profession. And may he so rest in peace. May I now call upon Mike Sinkala Thank you. 
This house is very painful. We can only say that may the Lord who has the grace and the mercy give you the strength to accept what we cannot change. The Bible tells us in John chapter 5 verse 28 and 29 do not marvel 
are to this. For the hour is coming when those that are dead in the grave shall rise again. Those that have done good to life eternal. And those that have done evil to the life of damnation. For those that are believers, like Brother Brighton, who is a believer, we believe that this burial is not the end of life, but a day is coming when once again we shall meet him together as brothers and sisters. And so at this time, as we commit the body to the ground, we want to say, in as much as God, in his infinite wisdom, has seen it fit to permit our brother, Brighton Singh, to be laid down and to be buried in this grave. We now do tenderly commit the body to the ground, saying earth to earth, the resurrection morning, that when the Lord shall come again, this mortal body shall put on immortality. And then at that time, be able again by the grace of God to be reunited with him as we bury him now. May we do that in the hope of the resurrection morning. May God give us the grace and the power and the hope for his return. Amen. You representatives, you are free to do so. Over to you, Elder Gaptula. Thank you, Pastor. Yes, we wait for the widow. Please come and be, be part of the committal children. As the widow is coming to do her part here, may I also request the Zambia Institute of Environmental Health to prepare uh, to hand over the flag. To the widow once she is back to her seat since it has been none of the above that I'm just an ordinary case. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.